Hello guys and welcome to my fall project use it up. I am so excited that I can finally say fall 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 because <laughs> It's finally September, you guys, and it is my favorite time of year to use up body care and to use any sort of fragrances. So I'm super excited for this year's Project Use It Up because I've actually created a few different like aesthetic mood body care routines out of the products that I'm going to be using for my Project Use It Up. So I'm really excited to share with you guys the different moods that I went with. And each one of them includes some body care that I am planning on using up in the fall months, which is going to be September, October, and November. And let's just go ahead and get started by sharing with you my four hygiene routine moods. Okay, are you ready for this? Because I think it's so cute. So the first one is Apple Picking Princess. And then we have Basic Vanilla Goddess, Spicy Witch and Pumpkin Queen. Okay, let me break these down for you. So Apple Picking Princess. Now this is the girly who really loves fall, but she's not really super into pumpkin. She's more of like a going apple picking, hosting bonfires, watching football, baking apple pies, making apple tarts and things like that. But she is not really like your pumpkin girl. She is much more like a deep, dark, cherry red girl and she still loves the fall too though she loves the fall next we have basic vanilla goddess now basic is not a bad word to me okay i love basic and i love vanilla year round so this is for those girlies who aren't really you know seasonally specific they're probably more of like spring and summer girlies and they actually enjoy that weather more than they enjoy the fall and winter but they keep it beautiful and neutral all year round. So that's gonna be your basic vanilla goddess. And she's a goddess because you can always smell her a mile away. And she always smells like decadent vanilla and just so gourmand goodness. So I had to give her the goddess title because you know she always smells good. Even like walking into Pilates and into the gym, she always is gonna be smelling like vanilla. Like she smells delicious. So that's our basic vanilla goddess. And then we have the spicy witch. Now this one's really fun. And this one, she definitely loves Halloween more and she celebrates Halloween probably year round, but mostly in the fall months, not just October. And she is definitely more of like a dress in all black kind of girly. She loves hosting Halloween parties. She loves getting together during the fall months to watch scary movies, watch slasher fix. She is definitely like a popcorn and pizza kind of girl, not really like baking her own stuff, but she loves a good spooky treat. So that is your spicy witch. And then the queen of them all, I had to give her this title, the pumpkin queen. Now you've heard of Jack Skellington, the pumpkin king. Well, this is his counterpart, the pumpkin queen, and she is all about pumpkin spice goodness. She loves decorating with tons of pumpkins in her house. She's always baking a pumpkin bread every single Sunday in the fall. She makes chili for cook-offs and she loves going on a crisp autumn walk through the leaves. And she's always down for just a cozy good time. So those are our four moods. Now let's get into the body care. So I'm gonna go backwards and start with pumpkin queen actually, because I know you guys are probably the most excited about this one. And this one is just a combination of a bunch of different pumpkin stuff both new and stuff that I already had left over from last year. So here's our pumpkin routine. Now the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is the brand new pumpkin swirl cake from Bath & Body Works in the body cream. And this packaging is so cute. It is such a gourmand scent. The notes are pumpkin spice, caramel toffee, and creamy vanilla. And this one is unused. I think I used it once just to try it right when it came in the mail. It really does smell like a cake. Kind of reminds me of like the pumpkin loaf cake from Starbucks, but yeah, very, very gourmand. And then another moisturizer I'm gonna put in is the White Pumpkin and Chai Body Lotion. And this one is from years past. You can tell this is actually the packaging they brought out around Thanksgiving. I wanna say in like late October slash November. It is from 2021. So I definitely wanna finish it off this year. The notes are cinnamon cider, spiced pumpkin, and vanilla glaze. This one is my like quintessential cold fall scent. This one just reminds me of Thanksgiving and it's so wonderful. So I'm really excited to bring this one back out to start using. And then for the shower, I have pumpkin icing from Philosophy. This one is definitely more of a gourmand than it is spicy. It really just smells like buttercream icing with some pumpkin, spi pumpkin pie spice on top. Oh, it's so delicious smelling. It is very like nutmeg heavy, I would say, but it's so yummy. And we are right about here 
So I have about a little more than half left to use this year. And this Philosophy Shower Gel is one of my favorite formulas for the shower. It lathers really well and it feels actually pretty moisturizing. So I really like this one. And I didn't show you where I'm at on White Pumpkin and Chai, but we're right about here. So I still have a good chunk. I probably only use like one third of it so far. And then also for the shower, we have the Dove Limited Edition Holiday Treats from last year. This is in Cinnamon Pumpkin Pie and this is the body scrub. This one was one of my favorites from last year because it actually does smell just like pumpkin pie. And I wanna say this one came out in like uh, also late October slash November because I only got to use it around Thanksgiving. I don't remember using this around Halloween um, because it came out with winter scents. So they kind of reversed it this year and brought it out earlier in August. And I have not tried the 2024 holiday treats collection, but I really want to. My stores have just been sold out, sold out ever since it launched so I haven't had a chance to get my hands on it but I'm really happy that I have this one left over. It is super gourmand and I feel like these two together smell super super similar so if you really liked this one last year you'll definitely love pumpkin swirl cake this year. And then for the smell goods that will last all day I have the white pumpkin and chai fine fragrance mist and this one is from 2020. Again I want to say this was brought out late late fall almost around the time they brought out the holiday collection. So this one kind of got overlooked, but it's one of my favorites. This one is so nostalgic of fall for me. This is definitely my Thanksgiving staple scent. It's super nice and warm and cozy. So I'm very, very excited to put this in. And I'm also putting in three replica mini perfumes. So I have these three, I've only used one of them before I believe. And that is Autumn Vibes and it's almost finished. So I'm just putting this one in to really just finish it off since it's so close. And then I'm also putting in Jazz Club and I'm putting in By the Fireplace. I figured why not put in all of the cozy fall vibes for my pumpkin queen routine. Can you guess which one this one's going to be? That's right, our Spicy Witch. And I'm very happy that they brought back Wicked Vanilla Woods this year because I enjoyed it so much last year. And I'm very excited to have this one again. And I will be pairing it with a couple of kind of floral scents that I think will be perfect. So we're gonna start off with Wicked Vanilla Woods. I have it in the shower gel and in the body lotion. And this is this year's packaging, completely unused. The notes are Magical Vanilla, Glowing Amberwood, and Enchanted Pink Pepper. So this one is that like a little bit of spice, super outdoorsy and very unisex. So I feel like this one I will be sharing with Ryan as well, just because he also does need a lotion, but this one is super yummy. And for some reason, whenever I was trying to find a combo for this one, Almond Blossom came to mind. And I think it's gonna be a really good pairing. Um, I don't have the scent notes on the back of here, but I'll put it up on the screen. But my Almond Blossom is from 2018. So it's kind of old, <laughs> but she has not gone bad yet. And we are right about here. This one is super strong and very, very long lasting. One of my favorites that I bring out of my collection like every single fall, it is the perfect fall floral because it is warm and cozy, but it also has that beautiful, girly, woman-like aspect to it. That just makes me feel super strong and feminine where I, when I wear it. And then I'm also going to pair it with Dossier's Floriental Brown Sugar Perfume. This one I have also had for a few years. The notes are bergamot, raspberry, and pear, middle notes of jasmine, orange blossom, and brown sugar, and base notes of patchouli, amber, and vanilla. That patchouli I think is going to go super well with our pink pepper in Wicked Vanilla Woods. So I think this is gonna be the perfect scent to have people like asking you what you're wearing all day long because you're gonna smell so delicious. So that is our spicy witch. Okay, Basic Vanilla Goddess is just a combination of a bunch of different things that I have, but you guys know I love vanilla, so I have a vanilla in every single like fragrance type, so I figured let's just put them all together. So first we have the brand new Bath Body Works Vanilla Romance. Now I have not tried this at all yet, so this will be my first time trying it. And the scent notes are Fresh Cardamom, Vanilla Absolute, and Captivating Woods. Now this is the moisturizing body wash. This will go in the shower and I'm excited to try it. It is a little spicy. And this one honestly reminded me so much of Cozy Vanilla Bourbon from last year. So I put in that one with it and I'll let you guys know if they are actually the same scent after I've been using them for a while, um, but they smell very similar to me just on cold sniff. 
So we have Cozy Vanilla Bourbon in the Body Cream. This one is Warm Bourbon, Dark Fruit, and Vanilla Liqueur. So this one is very like, you can definitely smell the alcohol note and it's super warm and cozy. I think I used this also like at the end of the year last year and I wanted to save it for fall this year. So very excited to have this one and to bring it out and to test it out a little bit more because I didn't get a lot of progress on this one last year. So we are about right here on the packaging little bit maybe you could say halfway that's those two and then i'm also going to put in bonfire bash in the fine fragrance mist this one is also an oldie but a goodie she is from 2020 and the scent notes are vanilla bourbon creamy sandalwood and cashmere musk honestly just one of the best fall transition scents because it's just like a warm marshmallow scent it's so wonderful i think that vanilla bourbon is going to go really really well with our warm bourbon note in cozy vanilla bourbon. So they're gonna be really nice to pair together. I don't know how I didn't think of that before, but I feel like this combo is just going to be so delicious and gourmand that it's just gonna be so good. And then I'm also gonna put in marshmallow pumpkin latte in the foaming sugar scrub. This one is from 2021. Um, I definitely plan on finishing it this year. It's actually kind of broken. The seam at the top popped last year whenever I was trying to use it. So I put some tape over it just to hopefully have it hold. But I definitely want to finish this one off because it's not one of my favorites. But I do like this formula. The scent notes are pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallows, and creamy sandalwood. So you can see where this is going. Again, with the marshmallow going in with the bonfire bash. And I just think it's all going to pair super well. And then to kind of pull it all together and to have something that smells wonderful and lasts all day, I have the Dossier Musky Musk Perfume. And this one is one of those ones that reacts with your pH of your body. It smells different on every body, but on me, it's slightly floral, but in a way that's like memorable. It's not necessarily any floral in particular, but I don't even know how to describe it. It's really nice and like warm smelling. That's literally all I have for you. So warm marshmallow vanilla, that's gonna be your basic vanilla goddess. So that's it for that routine. And then lastly, we have our apple picking princess. And you could probably guess where this was going. Champagne, apple, and honey. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is my September scent all the way. I just love it to transition into fall, especially when it's still hot here. And I don't really want super gourmand stuff. This fruity is like the perfect mix up for me. And it's also really nice to transition away from summer scents to something just like fruity. So we have champagne, apple, and honey in the body wash and the body lotion. The notes are crisp apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine honey, and autumn woods. So these two are both from this year. They are brand new, never used, very excited to start using them. And then I do have this champagne, apple, and honey little mini mist from last year that I picked up. We are about right here on the packaging. So I've used it a little bit. I think it was in my project last year. And because we have the champagne note in champagne, apple, and honey, I actually wanted to put in this perfume that I haven't had a chance to use yet. And that is Champagne Toast in the perfume from Bath & Body Works. Really excited about this one. I picked it up, I think last year at SAS in the summer and I've never used it. So very excited to try it. It just smells like Champagne Toast. So again, wonderful bubbly champagne with a little bit of berries. I think it's gonna be a really, really good scent for this transition period. And this one actually inspired me to bring out the Vampire Blood Fine Fragrance Mist from last year. So the notes on this one are red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. I thought like, you know, apple, plum, berries kind of all go together and it is red. So, you know, that also works, but I did not actually get a chance to use this to its full extent last year when I bought it. It is still up here. It's pretty much unused. And I just sprayed it on here just to let you guys know if it does stain clothes or not. And it is not staining this cream sweater red. So that's a good thing to note because this is a red color spray that it does not stain whatsoever. So you are totally good to put this on a white t-shirt, but that is it for the apple picking princess. So that is 22 products that I'm putting into the fall project use it up. And I would love to finish off like 15 of these. I think I definitely can. I think I could totally finish off a lot. I love using my fall products. I love using my fall products, so I don't think it'll be much of a challenge for me. No, I'm just kidding. It's definitely gonna be a challenge to use up 15 products 
in three months, but I will get it done and I will really enjoy it. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know down below which of the moods are you. Are you a apple picking princess? Are you a basic vanilla goddess? Are you a spicy witch or a pumpkin queen? Let me know down below. You guys know I transition between the apple picking princess and the pumpkin queen. Um, but obviously I'm all of them if they're all in my collection right now. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below if you did enjoy that kind of new vibe that I'll be doing for the body care. I think that was really fun. It was fun to put together for you guys. So I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.